Assalamualaikum my dear students. Once again welcome to my YouTube channel by the name MS Lectures and today I will be demonstrating you about a very important topic of the biochemistry which is respiratory acidosis. So we know that during the normal respiration when the ventilation is normal blood gets oxygen uh, in order to uh, you can say keep the metabolism of the tissues uh, normal and, the, and, the, and then after the metabolism carbon dioxide is expelled out from the body. So during the respiratory acidosis what happens is that the amount of carbon dioxide due to some you can say abnormalities increases beyond the normal concentration. So that's where respiratory acidosis occurs. So we will study that uh, what, uh, what are the different aspects of the respiratory acidosis. So first of all the important point to keep in the mind is uh, that carbon dioxide remains in the blood in the form of the carbonic acid. So whenever there is excessive carbon dioxide, so it combines with the water and forms the carbonic acid. So blood remains uh, blood uh, so this carbon dioxide which is in the excessive amounts remains in the blood in the form of the carbonic acid but you should uh, try to keep a very important point in your mind that blood remain as carbon dioxide remains in the blood in the form of carbonic acid but it is transported in the form of the bicarbonate ions so this is the very important important information carbon dioxide remains in the blood in the form of carbonic acid and is transported in the form of the bicarbonate ions. HCO3. So now we will talk, I will tell you about the what are the causes of the respiratory acidosis. And what are the you can say causes which actually is uh, are responsible for the elevation of the uh, carbon dioxide levels. So first cause is the asthma, then obstruction, then depression of the respiratory rate. So, in the case of in the case of asthma, we know that the exhalation is difficult in the case of asthma. So that's why uh, you can say the concentration of the carbon dioxide uh, goes very high. Then obstruction. In the case of obstruction, the carbon dioxide uh, you can say cannot be expelled out uh, from the body. So it is also uh, you can say contributing cause uh, in causing the respiratory acidosis. Then uh, depression of the respiratory rate also is the contributing factor in causing the respiratory acidosis and furthermore in the pneumonia where the normal uh, exchange of oxygen does not occur between the capillary and alveoli so pneumonia occurs and then with the cardiac arrest in which uh, you can say the blood is not delivered to the lungs so if the blood is not being delivered to the lungs the oxygen of the blood is not being carried out uh, and normally so that's why cardiac arrest is also the leading contributor to the formation of the respiratory acidosis. So uh, now I would uh, like to tell you about its treatment. So we know that the concentration of the car uh, carbonic acid in the blood is elevated and <clears throat> the bicarbonate ions are less in this respiratory acidosis case. So what does the kidney do in this case? The kidneys, uh, by the help of medications, uh, keep this bicarbonate ions, uh, you can say, constant. And uh, this, uh, you can say, the the keeping of this bicarbonate, the purpose of the keeping of this bicarbonate ion is to, you can say, neutralize the effect of this raising carbon carbonic acid. So, by keeping the bicarbonate ion concentration, uh, you can say, the effect of the increased carbonic acid is uh, countered.